Hi there, this is Elon from Metro Board, and I'm going to show you today how to replace the pulley insert in your ABUC 11 flywheel. Sometimes you may need to do this if your drive wheel is getting worn down and you want to rotate the pulley insert to a non-drive wheel, and uh, this is the process for doing that. The other reason why you might do this is if you're getting the pulley insert for the first time and you need to install it in a set of ABEC 11 flywheels that you have, this will also show you that process. So first thing we got to do is take the uh, drive wheel off of the truck axle. So we're going to go ahead and remove the nut here, which is going to use a half inch nut driver or skate tool if you have it. Okay, got the nut off. There's also an axle washer here to take off. Okay. And what you'll notice is that the bearing, the inner bearing will fall out of the pulley insert as soon as you take the wheel off. That's normal. It's supposed to be a little bit of a loose fit. It's not a press fit because this is made out of aluminum and you wouldn't be able to take it out if it was, but that's normal. So just, you can go ahead and leave your bearing on the truck axle for now. Um, we are going to take the other bearing out though from the other side of the wheel. And we're going to just use the truck axle to get that out and just kind of wiggle it, wiggle it off the truck axle. And that's kind of a standard practice for getting the bearing out. So now the other bearing's out. We'll leave it there for now. Okay, so let's set this aside for now. So the next step is to get the pulley insert out of the drive wheel. Um, and that basically is pressed into place. So we're going to use a technique here to show you how to get it out. So the first thing you want to do is uh, take a piece of cardboard or something soft so you have a soft work surface so that when the pulley falls out, you're not going to uh, damage the pulley in the process. So Take that, and then you're going to take a roll of masking tape or something similar that has a big enough inner diameter so that the pulley can fit through it, but large enough so that the, the urethane or the skate wheel will not fall through. So let's go ahead and put this in place here. Okay. So we're just basically setting it like that. Okay. Then we're going to take a, um, what I'm using here is basically a 3 8 inch nut driver. It's not critical exactly what tool you use, but you want something that's just going to touch the pulley insert, which you can see here, this metal portion is the pulley insert, but not touch the bearing seat of the hub. So you want something big enough that it's just going to touch the metal, but not the plastic, because you don't want to damage the plastic in the process of uh, getting the pulley insert out. So you just kind of hold it like that. And then the other tool we're going to need is a mallet or a hammer of some sort. So we're going to go ahead and tap this out by just putting the uh, nut driver over the aluminum portion. You gotta be careful not to hit the orange plastic, kind of center it as best as you can, and then just tap it a few times. Maybe take a little bit of a, a little harder hit. Let's try this again. Some are a little more stubborn than others, but don't give up. There we go, there we go. Okay, so now, as you can see, the pull insert has popped out falling on the piece of cardboard. And uh, now we're going to show the process of putting it back in. So if you have a new wheel and you've never installed it, then this is the, the step you want to get the insert back into the wheel. So for this step, before we put it back in, one thing I want to show you is sometimes you've noticed that um, there can be a little bit of a squeaking sound between the, uh, uh, the insert and the plastic of the hub. So there's these little prongs that go pressed into the orange hub of the ABEC 11 wheel. Sometimes it can make a little bit of a squeaking noise um, when you ride if you don't put a little bit of lubricant on this interface. So what we're going to do is, this one already has a little bit, but I'm going to show you the process of putting it on. Uh, since we, when we ship these to customers, we don't usually put the lubricant on, but you can do this yourself. So I'm just going to take a little bit of grease. This is just uh, Vaseline, but you can do something similar, any kind of like light grease will work, nothing too heavy duty, but just your basic grease or Vaseline will work just fine. Take a brush and you're going to want to basically just brush these outer surfaces where the prongs are with a little bit of grease. Okay. You don't need a huge amount because you don't want to make a mess. Also this little surface here. So you just kind of go around, okay, on these all these outer surfaces here and put a little bit on there. Okay. And then also on this top edge, Anything that's going to kind of get pressed into the hub, we want to put a little bit of lubricant so that it won't squeak or creak. Sometimes it makes a little bit of a creaking sound if you don't do this, and this will help take care of that. Okay, so go around all three of them. Okay, the top surfaces as well, not just 
anything that has a corner that's going to get pressed into the hub is important that it gets a little bit of lubrication on it. Okay. Also, the inside faces, like I'm going in between these two faces. You might need to add a little more grease as you're going along here. Okay. And while we're at it, we're going to put also on this inside, all these inside faces here. Okay. And you don't want to go too crazy, but just put enough on so that it will help control the noise down the road. Okay. So now that we got that lube on the surfaces, as you can see here. Okay, a little bit of grease on all those surfaces. I'm going to go ahead and press this back into place. So what you want to do is uh, you want to first kind of feed this in roughly in position. You're going to basically insert it in here and you want to line these prongs, these, these three prongs, one, two, three, with any of the three that are in the hub, okay? So it's not going to go in without a little bit of force, so you have to kind of just visually check from the other side that you're kind of roughly in position, so I'll get it kind of roughly in the right spot. You can kind of see now that the metal is aligned with the uh, hub, okay? The, the three prongs are aligned with three of the six holes in the hub. Let's see if you can see, maybe I can zoom in a little bit so I can see a little better, okay? All right, and then once you get those aligned, you're gonna basically flip the wheel over, okay? And you want to make sure also that they're not offset a little bit because if you force it and it's not in the right position, you may damage the hub. So just double check that everything looks good. Okay, so now we're going to put it back like this, okay, in this position and take a piece of cardboard. Now, again, we, we need a piece of cardboard so that we hammer this thing back in place so that we don't damage the teeth. So I'm taking like just a piece of cardboard. I'm going to fold it. It's kind of four layers of cardboard because I'm folding a, a, an unfolded box and putting it on top of the pulley teeth now. Again, I'm going to take my mallet and then just Gently, but firmly hammer this back into place, okay? You want to kind of go a few times, make sure it's even, okay? Now, the way you know you're in the right spot is you want to kind of check um, that this the aluminum portion is about a millimeter below the bearing seat in the, in the, in the wheel, on the outside bearing seat, okay? So if it's done right, you'll see about a millimeter gap between where the aluminum ends and where the orange hub uh, bearing seat begins. So again, normally if you hit it hard enough, it will go there, but you should just double check that you're all the way in, okay? And since we did put a little bit of grease there, if you want, you can wipe off the excess grease. So I'm gonna grab a paper towel real quick and just uh, wipe off any of that excess grease. Um, not necessarily gonna do any harm, but um, can't do, do any harm to take it off either. So, um, so that's that. So the pulley insert is back in place the way we started. Presumably you've moved it to a new wheel or this is a uh, rotated to a non-drive wheel. Here we just put it back in the same wheel to show you, but that's the process basically. Um, okay, so one last thing we're gonna do um, is sometimes the bearing on the inner bearing, since it's a metal to metal interface, can make a little bit of a rattling sound. So to avoid that, we're gonna put a little bit of, of grease on this inside bearing seat um, just to avoid that noise. So I'm gonna take the same grease that I was using before. Don't need a huge amount, just a little bit. Okay, and just kind of paint that, that inside surface, okay. A little bit there, okay. If you have too much excess, you can kind of wipe it off a little bit in terms of the outside face of the pulley insert. Just get off the stuff that goes past the bearing area, okay. So that's that. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the wheel back in place. Okay, so let's get our skateboard back in position here. So again, first I'm gonna put the outside bearing back in. That's the one that we start. We took out a second, so we're gonna put that back now. Slide that back on, okay. Same thing, now we put the inner bearing back on and it should just slide around. This one doesn't really have any press to it, so it just kind of slides right on. And go ahead and put the uh, washer back on, the axle washer, and then the Axle nut, go ahead and tighten it up. You want to be careful not to over tighten this one. It's good to have a little bit of play, not too much, but a little bit. Sometimes if it's too tight or too loose, um, you may hear some sounds from the drive wheel that don't sound very good when you're actually driving the skateboard. So if um, if you do hear any sounds while driving the skateboard that don't sound like a good sound you should be hearing from a skateboard, usually you just need to adjust the drive nut a little bit 
And um, usually either loosening or tightening, but usually loosening it just a hair, a quarter to a half inch turn will eliminate the uh, any kind of creaking noises or other noises you might hear while you're actually riding the skateboard. Okay, well, I hope that was helpful. And uh, uh, now you know how to change the dry wheel pulley insert on the Metroboard electric skateboard. Thanks for watching.